Alright, so today we're going to be doing something that a lot of people are scared to do. But it's really simple. It's not car related, so if you're here for the cars, I apologize. Today we're going to be replacing an outlet. Now, the reason that we're replacing this outlet in particular is, um, well, it's old. Whenever I plug stuff into it, it just kind of like falls out. As you can see, I didn't even unplug these. I just moved the bed. Oh, actually, that holds them pretty well. But, you know, as you can see, there's all that play in it. It's an old outlet, and my charger doesn't exactly stay in it. And so, anyway, so we're going to be replacing this outlet today. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the breaker that feeds this. So, I'm going to tell you a really easy way to do that. So, So, a really simple way, another way that I just remembered is TVs. Okay, TVs require a power source from an outlet, so if it's the outlet behind your TV, um, it'll do it. Now, it turns out all my all of my outlets are daisy chained together, so whenever this TV turns off, we'll know. It didn't turn off the blue light, still on in the corner. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera down and I'm going to go. Oh, there it is, he just got it. The reason it's quite dark in here is because my lights are also attached to the um, outlets they're tied on the same circuit. But now you can use a drill, but I'm going for this, and I have those, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use hand tools just to show you that it can be done. You need a flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of wire trippers. Now, these wire trippers on Milwaukee, they're nice, they're good, solid pair of wire trippers. If you're going to be doing a lot of this stuff, go ahead and get you a good pair. Now, these are manual. I've never used an automatic power wire strippers because I use these so much that I don't want to run the risk of any mechanics breaking. I just want to be able to strip, put them in my pocket, and go. And I like them. They're small. They're lightweight. You know, the, but this is, I'm talking about, this is like commercial type stuff that I do. But, you know, get you a pair of wire strippers. They don't have to be Milwaukee. You can get whatever you want. You don't need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver. The first thing that you're going to have to do is remove the plate obviously it's just one screw in the middle and the outlet plate comes off now if you want to at this point you can go ahead and test it one more time just to make sure that it is dead um, my TV went off which would tell me that outlet's dead for sure but like I said you want to make sure you grab a phone charger over here so the best I can do, because I don't really have anything else. This was actually box was cut in, it appears. And try plugging in my phone. And it doesn't come on. As you can see, my phone is not coming on at all. So it is completely dead. Not charging, you'll be able to tell right there. So yeah. So that's that. That's how you you know, if you haven't figured out how to do that yet, just, or if you're, if you're having trouble figuring out how to get power turned off or something, leave a comment on the video and I will get back to you the second I, as soon as I get the chance. So, now, something that you should be noticing is your color wires. Now, should have a black, at least one black, and at least one white. If you have two, that is perfectly okay. Just make sure that you land them back on screws, and you'll be okay. Now, now that it's not hot, I can grab both of these, and I'm okay. But if this was hot and you grabbed this, you would be a little cuter. That should be a given, but, you know, I know some people are not very smart, so, you know. And basically, this is really simple. You just remove all the wires. Now, if you end up finding a burnt wire in here, if it is showing, if you see you've opened this up and you have a burnt wire or something bad has happened, you want to tape up that wire and roll it back in the box. Uh, use some electrical tape or whatever. Make sure that wire is not going to touch anything else and you should be okay. Now, if then outlets do burn up over time, you know, something gets hot in them, they can burn up. As long as the wires are not damaged, you should be okay. Now this one, whoever installed this did a decent job. They left a good amount of wire here. Not too long, not too short. 
So this is okay. This isn't bad. I've seen way worse where, you know, I can barely get the outlet out of the box. Um, but like I said, out replacing this shouldn't be too bad. And if this doesn't fix it, you have a power supply issue. Okay, and that is an entirely different video that I am not getting into. So, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, my flashlight on my phone because the sun's kind of like fading in and out. So, so I just realized I hadn't recorded at all. <sighs> I don't know what the last part was, but basically, guys... I'm going to take this back out now, and I'm going to go grab a drill, because I almost ran this whole thing over my screwdriver, and it was going to take forever. So, gold goes to black, silver goes to white, green goes to ground, okay? So, this is a pretty simple job, like I said, I just swapped it. My new outlet, the old outlet did not look bad. But it was old, and the things were falling out of it. Really, this thing just needed to be tightened up. But I wanted to show you guys how to do it. I know it's really simple, like I said. But it may not be simple to everybody. So, I wanted to go over it. If there's any questions that you guys have, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I get the chance. So, I'm going to go grab an impact drill, and I'm going to run these in with that. Because I don't want to be here for the rest of the afternoon. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. So, after you have successfully put these two screws in, really simple, put that metal, hold your plate on, it'll actually, you know, kind of just rest it by itself normally for a second or two. You can use two hands and run the screw in. And now, you got a brand new outlet. And look, it actually hugs the wall. Just make sure that you don't run in your top two screws too far. Because then you run the risk of this plate bending. Make sure everything looks nice and flush. And you should be just fine. So now. See? See how tight of a fit that was? See, that one is good. It's good in there. So I wanted a new outlet. So. Now, you'll notice, whenever I plug in my phone, now this charger is a little messed up, but if you mess with it, it'll come on normally. You can see, my phone is charging. So, that is that, guys. Uh, so, since we are mostly automotive-based, I do want to give a Big Block F100 update. So, I got these pieces, um, a lot of pieces, and the only thing really wrong with this one is right here. It's rusted pretty bad. Hopefully, it'll be able to be repaired really easily. I got a, I got a passenger side fender that's really good, passenger side door that's really good, and uh, I got a new grill, but I'm not going to be using this grill because this is an 82 and up grill. Now, there's a new hood over here. I most likely won't be using because I'm going to try to reuse mine, but I got this piece off of the other one, which is in really good shape. Some grill cover pieces. A lot of the, a, a lot of the salvage vehicle ones were actually really good, and I was able to get a lot of good parts. So, lots of good parts, lots of big things coming in the future. I haven't given a 429 update in a while. Um, I will put my, I will put my Instagram up on the screen right now. For you to go check out, I'll be posting pictures of the 429 as we build it there. And I've already posted some, so you can go look now and there will already be some up. So, yeah. Alright, so I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I know this isn't a car video, but I try to do a little bit of everything on the channel. Um, but, yeah guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.